Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Black Friday submod, Westeros Total War, etc., etc. When we last left off, we had possibly one of the most epic and just huge battles that I've ever had on the Westeros Total War mod, or any of the submods. It was massive. I think, using the King, we took out at least three and a half of the Trell armies with one of our armies alone. In the end, the king fought and died valiantly, running towards his youngest son's army, only to be cut down by the enemy's generals at the very last second before he could reach his allied forces. He died well, he lived well, he shall be remembered. His son has taken up the throne, with Damien dead, the Blackfriar Rebellion is still very strong. There is no stopping his son's revenge. The Trails will die, all of them. Lannisters will also die just because we don't like them very much. Your will, my king. <laughs> yeah, my king. But uh, I do believe his son Lord. is somewhere here. Yeah. Yes. I think. Yep, they there. His son, who's currently the heir coming, my to the enemy. Black Frey line, Once is yes, Lord. very much alive. My Lord. To with Only had a few. Soldiers yes, left king. in Surround the king's army, the but king. still a very large Honor. amount of forces left. Honor to serve, my lord. We march, my king. God be with us, men. Uh, I should have spent more resolve that. For our people, for our king. Orders, my lord. Moving to engage, my lord. Besiege, my king. Moving to engage, my king. Yes. You have to take that and that. Yes. yes. Marching to battle with pride, Lord. Ah! Victory for our, our salt pans are ours. We shall not relent ever. An honor. Must be in Sunderland can deal with that. The yes, king. king. Yes. And come to the bridge here. Your will, my king. An honor to serve, my king. Men, march! Forward and with honor. Setting a keen watch here, Lord. An honor to serve, yes. Move out. Yes, my king. Yes, of course. Your will, my king. Confronting the enemy honorably, my lord. I've got Osgrey and the captain on my side, so... I don't even know what this little box here does, stat text. I have no idea. There we go, guys. Uh, we'll fight this on the map. Courage, Push back the Lannister forces as much as we can. <laughs> a living can smile, the dead cannot. Kill anyone smiling. And those who aren't, just to make sure. <laughs> awesome. Nope, I hit the mic. My bad. Okay. Now, if we've learned anything from the last epic battle that we just had, and I think we did, use cavalry. <laughs> cavalry good. <laughs> Infantry also good as cannon fodder for the cavalry. But, uh, we either used the uh, cavalry last time just to literally scare the shit out of three giant Terrell armies. But the Lannisters are actually smart enough to have... Uh, ranged units, by the looks of things.
Okay, do the same that we usually do, which is split off the units accordingly. and use my cavalry to scare the shit out of them. Preferably in one giant host, if we can. The men are a lot better well trained, it seems. But uh, if we pull back and just use hit and run tactics. Damn it, they are a lot better well fucking trained than everybody else, it seems. How the hell are they fucking sub doing this? This is not going as I had planned, for some reason. I vastly outnumbered them, I surrounded them, I charged them with my cavalry, and none of them retreated. Only half of our force remains.
come on. These Lannister bitches. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. See if I can't let him run. Apparently not. Fine, we got them all. The enemy have brought up more men. They hope to make up in numbers what they lack. Yeah, in not reinforcements is here. Fat lot of good they've done, really, but. This is. Okay. Tactic with cavalry only works with, like, mainly spear militia, it seems, and lower trained, and less professional units. But other than that, it works still. But we lost way more men than I wanted. But yeah, the Lannisters, not pushovers. Yeah, see, look, most of them armored spearmen, which is actually decent units. Why I lost quite a lot of guys, actually. Let's see if I can't. See those guys in Sun's Bear take control of that. Yes. Orders, my king. Move out. Hey, and I can use these guys. Your will, my king. Okay, move Oscar over here, and these guys over Men, there. March. We I respect you, my enemy. Um, let me see. What do we do next? What do we do next? What do we do next? We do next? Relent, there ever. is a Terrell unit there. Yes, Lord. Yes, we need to wait another turn before we do anything with the them, enemy. but we can move An on to the Atlanta Star troops we now. Your will, my king. With honor. Your will shall be obeyed. Orders, my lord. Yes. yes. And honor, my king. God be with us, men. I will make them fear you. Okay. Get so, we... I don't know. What do we do now? Relation is worse than... I don't give a shit. Next turn. See what happens. I'm thinking about... Ooh, crap. More trails. If I can pull back and join up with what's his face antlers. I have failed you, my king. That's the wrong way, douchebag. We are beaten. Oh well. Yes, my king. Breaking this siege. What does the Starks want? But yeah, if I'm what was I saying? I was thinking about doing some kind of alliance with who? Uh Baratheon. Because currently I'm not a war of them, and I wanted to stay that way for a while. Yes, Lord. My king. Okay, what do we do? Yes. What do we do? What do we do? Um, if I use, it will be an honor defeating. See, those, those are mostly levy spearmen. Forward! Your will shall be obeyed. Leave your mercy behind, men. We shall show them none. There. Offer a treaty. Orders, my king. Yes, Lord. Confronting the enemy. Yes, my king. I respect you, my enemy. See, these guys, they aren't actually that bad. Especially the armor dudes and everybody else. They're not Orders, my bad Lord. units at all. Men, march. My king. Moving to engage, my king. 
Now with these guys, just look how much they're already wounded and got quite shit units. A crappy... Okay. He says Lannister, but he hasn't got the Lannister family trait for some reason. Arm up lines and do not break them! Today, we break the enemy! But yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get back to the uh, 30 minute long videos rather than the almost an hour long ones. But last battle, the last time we did a battle it was fucking like epic beyond proportion, so... Took a while to do. See, I gave the Prince the full stack of units from Dragonstone, fully trained and everything as well, so... He's got some badass units with him. We're not going to get to the top of that hill, are we? Because if we position ourselves over here, rather quickly, would be nice. Okay, so we group together everyone that's not attacking, which is pretty much the back row, to be honest. Yeah, these two are not supposed to be in there. They are not attacking, the back row isn't attacking, so if we quickly move the cavalry around here, and these guys can be cut in half, preferably not selecting the units that are running. There you go. Group them together. And then we've got those guys. So these guys can go over here. And these guys can go up this hill. are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Okay, so if we can get these guys into position. Preferably not having them stop at every single unit that they touch. For fuck's sake, I hate bloody awkward angle that I'm at right now. Okay, so they're obviously fucking up big time. Try to ignore the cavalry attacking you, I don't have all day. No, we will not allow two fucking units to be holed up by one group of cavalry. You guys are supposed to be attacking them and not pussyfooting around.
should be able to scare most of these guys. They're all levy spearmen and stuff, so. Only half the enemy force remains. Now, where's that general? They had a general somewhere. The general is no true man. He flees the field of battle. I mean, that's him and in that fray there, but he's getting annihilated. <laughs> Our men there he goes. The now they all run like cowards. Guard him well, so he can see us defeat the rest of his army. Yeah, if I give each of my guys someone to attack. Bannister has fallen. Come on. There's like one unit sitting in the middle right there that's not running away. Because it's like the bravest fucking character that I've ever seen. <laughs> the enemy army. There we go. All civilized peoples will nice be awed by the victory we have won. Could have gone a bit more smoother, but meh. Oh, looky. Deserved nothing less than death. We shall not relent ever. We march to our enemy's doom. <laughs> An order. Leave your mercy behind, men. Orders, my lord. Yes, lord. Confronting the enemy. <laughs> God be with us, men. We march to battle. My king. My king. Combining troops. Yes, Lord. Forward! Okay, guys. Next turn. I don't know what Stark's after. Whether he's trying to bribe me, or... Shall not relent ever. We march to our enemy's doom. Well, there's little point in fighting that. We've won easily. They deserve nothing less than death. I will make them fear you. Yes. Move out. Yes, my king. Yes. Moving to engage. Yeah, send that guy up there to the twins and you can deal with that. An honor to serve, my lord. Honor. Yes, lord. Forward! Yeah. Okay. Are we down here? Yes. Yes, lord. Confronting the. The enemy lies defeated! We are victors! Orders, my king. Yes, Lord! Confronting the enemy! What the? But we go no further this okay, day, yeah, my didn't lord. <laughs> I can't even bother editing that part out. My own stupidity and laziness got the better of me. That never happened. It's like one slip on a banana, banana skin, and uh, the entire thing just goes like, what? <laughs> uh, we lost way too men taking yes, Harren Hall as well, so... Uh, it's late, and my laziness is just really getting the better of me. Your will shall be obeyed. We lost like way too many men taking that, so... 
But while we still can, we'll try and recruit some more guys from the Vale. So this is going to send us like into even further debt than we already will be when we do a couple of turns, but... Is Baratheon on my shores? Yes, my lord. We shall not relent ever, my king. Orders, my lord. I was wondering if Splitting I could our troops, recruit lord. anyone, but no. Combining mercenaries troops. would have been really quite helpful in this, but. Yes. I can easily take this place pride, without fighting it. Because the thing is, we've almost run out of time, and I don't want to go do any big battles. Oh yeah, anyway, I just realized that there's a huge force of Lannisters at Maiden Ball. Uh, where's my nearest diplomat? There he is. Yes, Lord. Send him up to there, see what the kind of Tomorrow's garrisons there are awaits. over there. We have That's a diplomat at Yornwood as well. Can I help, my lord? Uh, what's the current diplomatic situation? I'm enemies with Lannister and Tyrell, which is fine. Yes, lord. There is something, there is something. There you now, why I'm at war with their allies? Very well. I cannot. Make an alliance with them, but I think I can make an alliance with Baratheon. No, probably not, because I'm at war with their allies. <laughs> I can't make an alliance with Stark either, but I think I can get trade rights with them. Whether or not I have trade rights with Baratheon, do I? I have no idea. No, we do not, but we can get them, because we're not at war with them. Same goes with House Stark. Oh no, we already have that with House Stark. Hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was just fucking stupidity and laziness from me there. We lost way too many men in that battle, that auto resolve for Harrenhal. Just for a starters. It's really quite late, and when it gets late and my coffee starts to run out, I, uh, get really quite lazy and just think, ah, I can auto resolve, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, and then it's not fine. And then something stupid like that happens, and I'm like, ah! I'm lucky enough it usually starts at like, it happens like that at the beginning of like a video, so then I can just easily delete it and then start again. Because <laughs> I'm like, ah, fuck me, I shouldn't have done that, and then I hate myself for a bit afterwards, but uh, yeah, I'm just stalling. For when, because uh, we have to end it for a second, because I, I can't do any battles at all without it going over too much. And the last one was like an hour long, so... I don't want to have to force anybody to watch something that long. <laughs> I could edit it and do it take a while and cut the sound files in half in the video footage and make it so it's like a... So it's like... Uh, half an hour each, or around about half an hour each, but... The last one was quite long, so... I probably won't edit it. It's going to take a while. I'll just upload it as one and let you guys watch it. It was previously a bit longer, it's like an hour, but still. Anyway guys, when we come back in the next part, we will deal with Duskendale properly and Harrenhal properly. I promise uh, it will be a bit earlier in the morning, in my usual time for recording. I, I stop doing it at night because I get lazy and tired and then I'm like, ah, oh, this fuck it, I won't resolve and then bad shit happens as you saw a minute ago. So, we just forget that ever happened. <laughs> That's all for now anyway guys, so annotation, top right hand side, I will see you there, and when we come back we will deal with Harren Hall and the Crown Lands. Hopefully, this is like all the forces you. that Stark and Tyrell are man uh, mustering, and this isn't just like a portion of their guys, but the thing is, they're at war with nobody else. So every single bit of army that they have, and all the troops that they have, are all coming for me. Because I'm their only target. It's not like they're fighting different targets and AI is busy with somebody else. They are literally just like, hmm?
and turning and just going, we must kill, kill, send everything. Which you'll probably find, the area around here is going to be full of Lannisters, and everything else that they own is pretty much going to be deserted. Apart from maybe, maybe the coast with the Iron Ball. And Terrell, you'll probably find that the Crown Lands is where the most of their men are, are positioned. Just because the only enemy borders that they have is me. So they'll stick to the enemy borders usually with their units, but uh, we'll find out in a bit anyway. So guys, annotation, top right hand side, I will see you there. Soul out.